The winner is Susie. and I qualified for the Girls State Golf Tournament in 2014. My name is Phil Barnett. I qualified for the state track meet here at Clarksville in 1999, 2000, and 2001. My name is Ashley Marcus and Gilmore. I qualified for state track in the long jump in 2004 and 2007. I also was a part of the softball team that had qualified in 2004. Hi, I'm Ben Lovern, former wrestling coach at Clarksville. In those few years that I was the head wrestling coach, we did have a state champ, we had a runner up, and uh, we had a few place winners. My name is Renee Roddy Kempen, and I qualified for the 1982 state track meet in the 4x100 meter relay and the 4x200 meter relay. Hi, my name is Hannah Faust, and I qualified for state track in 2015 in long jump and the 4x1. My name is Mallory Hooger. I made it to state basketball in 2019. My name is Dalton Civarelli and I won a state title, state wrestling title in 2013. Uh, Clarksville has always had a good history of wrestling, especially in the early 90s under Hall of Fame coach Ron Peterson, where they won multiple state titles and many individual titles as well. And I grew up looking up to these guys and the people from that era. I wanted to always be a part of that history by winning my own state title for myself. That's why when I finally won my state title as a senior, it had been my main goal ever since I was a little kid. So finally winning it as a senior was a huge relief and a huge, amazing feeling. The time for me at Clarksville was really special. The community support that the wrestling team had at Clarksville was just unbelievable. The wrestlers I had were not only outstanding wrestlers, but they were great people as well. You know, the the team championships, the individual championships, the state qualifiers, the uh, state place finishers, the other members of the teams, they were really product of, of great parental support. I feel really lucky to have been the coach at Clarksville for, for 12 years. It's something that's very special to me and I want to thank everybody in Clarksville for their support over the 12 years I was there. Thank you. Hello fellow Clarksville Indians. My name is Tim Norton. Just want to share a little bit about my experience at the state tournaments. Um, I competed in baseball, football, and wrestling for Clarksville back in the early 90s, but I was able to uh, make it to the state tournament in wrestling on three different occasions. My sophomore year in 1991, I placed fourth place. Um, my junior year, I went 0-2 uh, and didn't come home with, with any hardware. And then my senior year, uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, win a state title and 152 pounds for, for Clarksville. Uh, I know that it was a, a ton of work and sacrifices, not only for myself, but my family. And um, while at the time I seemed to maybe focus on the, the hard work and sacrifices, um, reflecting now as an adult, uh, the thing that I remember the most obviously is the friendships made, uh, the, the relationships built, not only with my teammates, but other competitors throughout the state and beyond. And what an amazing, amazing opportunity. So uh, while it's easy to focus on the hard work and the things you're not able to do um, as a high school competitor, believe me, in the end, the things you'll remember are, is all about the relationships and the friendships that you've made throughout the time. So keep working hard, good luck, go Indians. Hi, I'm Ben Lovern, former wrestling coach at Clarksville. In those few years that I was the head wrestling coach, we did have a state champ. We had a runner up and uh, we had a few place winners, several kids that qualified for state. Those kids, they, uh, they worked tremendously hard in the practice room, the weight room in the off season, working on athleticism. And uh, they hardly ever, they hardly ever missed a, 
a workout. This was a dedicated group of kids and that worked very, very hard. When they were young, uh, in their elementary years, they had a good foundation with parents teaching them proper technique and uh, taking them around to uh, little kids tournaments and giving, giving them um, a lot of experience uh, in competition. These kids, they uh, <clears throat> were successful in the football field, baseball, and several other sports. Um, we just, it was a blessing to coach these kids. They worked very, very, very hard and uh, they were fun to be around. They did have fun and uh, laughed and joked around in, in practice a lot, but, but when it come time to, uh, to work and get down to business, uh, they did a wonderful job of that. And it was just a wonderful experience for me uh, to be able to see uh, the kids uh, reach their goals and uh, just have a fun time at the state wrestling tournament. Well, my name is Jake Bergman and I uh, played Clarksville football from 2006 to 2009. Uh, 2009 was my senior year. I played quarterback for the Indians and we ended up uh, making the state playoffs that year. Um, I was asked to kind of talk through what you know what it felt like to get there and, and what it took to get there and I guess one thing I just want to say is it was it felt great to get there you know we hadn't made the playoffs since 2000 uh, so nine years since we'd made the playoffs as a as a football team so it felt great to get there um, didn't have the season we probably wanted to but uh, did enough to at least get to the first round and that kind of started off and kicked off a little bit of a dynasty I guess I'd say uh, we uh, made the playoffs for the next three straight years I believe and and uh, I think one of my brother's teams actually got to the semifinals. So it was a great time. Um, I guess a little bit of what it takes to get there. Uh, you know, one of the big things uh, after leaving high school that I had was just, uh, you know, kind of a longing to, to have done a little bit better in high school, to, to try it a little bit harder. Uh, you kind of hear that a lot from coaches and players and former players that, you know, they really wanted to um, tell students that, you know, they wish they could have tried harder. And it was something I kind of brushed off as a student and uh, as a high school student that, uh, you know, you don't need to work hard. Um, you don't need to do these types of things because, you know, it's only four years of your life. But it's four years that I can promise you that uh, you'll want back and and uh, just to try hard. Um, do your best that you can do. Um, you know, there's certain uh, rules and stuff like that that uh, the state puts out there uh, that you can't practice and things like that. But Nobody says that you can't go around and, and throw the football around with your friends and uh, take grounders and uh, practice wrestling, things like that. Um, those are just a few of the sports I played. So I would say what it takes is just uh, discipline, listen to your coaches, um, get in the weight room, uh, do all the things that it takes, do the little things, and uh, you'll be successful. Hi, my name is Emily Lindemann, and I qualified for the Girls' State Golf Tournament in 2014. As a team, we placed eighth. It was just an unreal experience knowing how hard our team had worked to get to that level, but it was also very fun being able to golf with girls from area schools. Hi, my name is Renee Roddy Kempen and I qualified for the 1982 state track meet in the 4x100 meter relay and the 4x200 meter relay. The other 4x100 participants were Teresa Tweet Terrell, Linda Grantham Barlow, and Amy Tweet Wedeking. The other four by 200 meter relay participants were Teresa Amy and Kathy Roddick Anderson, my sister. We did not qualify for the finals in either event, but it was very exciting to just belong on the Jim Duncan Blue Oval in Des Moines. My coach was Terry Laughlin. He pushed us every practice to bring out our very best. These were the days before plyometrics and bigger, faster, and stronger programs. We utilized the football scoreboard clock for practices where we could monitor our own intermittent sprinting and walking to build stamina. The very first all-weather track we ran on was down at the state meet in Des Moines. We ran on cinder tracks and even one two-lane grass track at Plainfield. To keep in shape during the summer, a running program was organized by Ken Hoodger, the boys' track coach at the time. The program was called the 100 Mile Club. We were given log sheets that we turned in every week and at the 25, 50, 75, and 100 mile mark, we received t-shirts. It was a great program for all athletes to keep in shape. Hey, my name is James Bolin, um, class of 2004, Clarksville High School. Um, you know, thinking back on going to state and track, my 
my junior and senior year. Um, first of all, I got to give a big shout out to Coach Wasco. Um, without him, like I definitely wouldn't have been able to accomplish the things that I did back in high school. And, um, you know, as I think about like how it made me feel, I mean, at the time, like it was a really, really big deal. Um, it was a huge goal of mine. My two other brothers had done track and one of them had, had made it to state his senior year. And then my other brother had, had broken a school record his senior year. And so my goals were always, you know, breaking school records and, and, and going to state. And I was fortunate enough to qualify my junior year in, in, in long jump and the four by one. And then again, my senior year in long jump 400 and four by four and ended up, um, sixth in the state in the four by four and broke school record. And then third in the 400, my senior year and broke school record. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was a great experience. Like it's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life, to be honest. And it's just a great memory. And it was just, uh, more importantly, a, a great life lesson that I like to, um, share with the kids that I coach now as I coach basketball at the high school level. And I tell them that, um, you know, sports is a great opportunity to really push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And when you're able to then apply that mindset to life, um, you can really accomplish more than, than you probably thought you could. So I thank Coach Wasco for that. And I thank Clarksville, um, for the opportunity to participate in athletics. And it's, um, you know, played a role in making me who I am today. So thank you. Hi, my name is Hannah Faust and I qualified for state track in 2015 in long jump and the 4x1. Honestly, being able to compete at such a high level was an amazing feeling. It gave you that much more motivation to do your best because you'd be competing against the best. And it was also just so rewarding seeing that all your hard work throughout the years had paid off. I know in 2015, we hadn't had much luck making relays to state in the past few years. And we hadn't run the 4x1 all season and last minute decided a meet or two before districts that we could have a chance. And that led us to winning districts, qualifying for state. And I think that was the first time I cried tears of joy. Also, the community support in our small town is huge and I continue to see that until this day. And although some sports, it's harder to see it physically like track, you don't realize how many people are following along through newspaper articles and Facebook posts and really cheering you on behind the scenes. And that's one of the things that really sticks out when you look back at your experience is just all the people who are there to support you. Track and field was the first sport I ever qualified for. So I, I really liked it um, my freshman year. Uh, I qualified in the four by one and the D-Med and in the Drake relays, I qualified for the four by one. My sophomore year, we qualified for the four by one, four by two. My junior year qualified for high jump in D-Med. And then my senior year, unfortunately, didn't have the opportunity because of the coronavirus. Um, but I would accredit all of our success to um, the coaches and our parents. Um, coaches like uh, Brandon Zelly, Ross Timmermans, and Ralph Longus, they put in so much time e either in season or um, out of season because they wanted us to succeed um, not only in track but in every other sport and that's why we were able to qualify in not just track but softball, um, basketball, cross country, um, golf. Like there are so many um, good things that came out of Clarksville um, while we were um, there and while we had such great coaches. We were blessed um, to have so many great coaches but I believe that's why our um, talent carried over into other sports was because not only our coaches pushed us, but our parents did as well. Um, when we were younger, we would go to basketball tournaments every weekend or we would go to softball clinics um, held by um, kind of big name people. Um, but yeah, our, our parents and our coaches pushed us and I feel that's what um, got us to where we were able to go to and um, why we were able to compete at such a high level. My name is Phil Barnett. I qualified for the state track meet here at Clarksville in 1999, 2000, and 2001. Uh, one of the most uh, fun things with uh, getting down to state track, I guess, was uh, really just uh, trying to go at that state title our senior year as a team. Uh, we ended up getting second. Um, when, when you kind of look back, uh, our freshman year was the first year we had uh, brought back our own track program at Clarksville. 
uh, we shared with neighbor schools with a neighboring school there for some prior years. Um, so we did that our freshman year, uh, won uh, conference title uh, as a team um, with 14 guys my sophomore year. Um, and then uh, our senior year, we ended up getting uh, second as a team down in state. Um, so uh, besides a couple of state titles and the shot put, uh, you know, I had a teammate, Corey DeWitt, who got second uh, in our senior year. Uh, so we won one, two in that my senior year. I made that awful, awful special. I had a uh, teammate, Dave Police, who won a couple state titles his junior and senior year in the uh, 400 hurdles as well. Um, but I really think, um, you know, as I think back, probably one of the most special things was uh, we had kind of a group of guys there as freshmen that we came in and, and decided we uh, were going to go after that goal. And uh, everybody was on board, had a great group of coaches, and uh, you know, had a lot of fun uh, doing that along the way. So. My name is Mallory Hooger. I made it to state basketball in 2019, and that year we ended up being quarterfinalists. State was a really unreal experience. It was so cool. Everything was so big, and the energy was so intense, and it, I've never experienced anything like it. I didn't think that I'd personally make it to a state event, and when I did, it was just unbelievable. Uh, it definitely took a lot of hard work and determination to get there, getting to practice every day and all of that. I definitely wouldn't have done it if I didn't have the teammates and coach that I did. They all, we all just pushed each other and it took a lot and our coach was smart. He knew what to do. He knew how much to push us. So without him, we wouldn't have made it either. But it was definitely a team effort and it did take a lot, but it was so rewarding in the end, and it was the best experience of my life. So I just thank them for getting me there and for the experience in general. Hi, my name is Ross Timmermans. Um, I was fortunate enough to coach the 2019 girls state basketball qualifying team. Um, just happened to be the first time in school history, and I couldn't be more thankful for my opportunity to coach these girls. It was a season to remember for many reasons. Um, that was an amazing basketball team uh, filled with amazing leaders, athletes. Um, I remember driving to Chipola talking to the coaches and we all talked about how this might be the best team that we ever get to coach. Um, ever and that uh, that's something that stuck with me I'll never forget it because it quite possibly could be the best team that uh, I might ever be a part of ever again so we, we really cherished every minute that we had together we've still got great relationships with the girls that have graduated uh, we communicate frequently and uh, that's really what it's all about is about the relationships and, and about the the relationships that you forge and have for a lifetime. Um, it's, it's a season that I'll never forget, and I hope that the girls and coaches and managers and community uh, never forget as well. My name is Gwen Wilkinson, now Lawson, and I was a part of the state softball qualifying team of 2004. The first one in school history where we brought home sixth place. The feeling of making state that year is almost indescribable. It was definitely an experience of a lifetime and a memory that will last forever. Our biggest support system besides our own families was definitely this town. And to this day, I can remember walking up to bat the first time and looking out and seeing a sea of gold shirts, thinking, man, we're pretty famous in this small town. If you don't know what gold shirt I'm talking about, I bet you can ask almost anybody in this town and they probably still have one hanging in their closet. I am so proud that our softball program and team has grown to be what they are today. It is an honor to watch them return to state year after year, and I am so happy that I can now be in that sea of fans. Okay, so I was supposed to give a little talk on what I thought of us when we went to the, Clarksville went to the state softball tournament, uh, I think 2004. It was one of the first times anybody from Clarksville really had gone to a state tournament and it was really exciting you know I coached at UNI and we went to regionals and there was only 20 teams there and that was an honor and then we went when I was at Wartburg we went to the nationals out in Roanoke Virginia but still the most exciting part was Clarksville because we went to we had to go through North Butler which was picked to go to state and then we had to go through Newman it was 
they thought would beat us and we went to state and played very very well there but the most exciting thing mm -hmm. was that the fans we had tons of fans there cheering us all on so it was great you know a great excitement for me to see all the fans come and support us hi my name is ashley marcus and gilmore i qualified for state track in the long jump in 2004 and 2007. i also was a part of the softball team that had qualified in 2004 uh, to go to state for the first time. That feeling was indescribable, really. Um, it was the first time in school history that we had gone to state softball, and to say that I had a part in it is really, really special. Um, today, the softball team has taken, you know, my expectations for you know me in 2004, and wildly blown them apart. <laughs> um, those girls are phenomenal. They have a lot to be proud of. Um, I know we all have a lot to be proud of. Uh, I was there last year when they won their title and I don't think there was a dry eye in the crowd. Um, they all have a lot to be proud of. Uh, all the things that they have done on and off the field are going to carry over into their, you know, everyday life really. Um, and I know they all have this amazing potential, um, not just at the high school level, but you know, at collegiate level as well. And that is something to be proud of. Um, and I think that the women's um, athletics at Clarksville in general have really excelled, um, you know, not just recently, but um, certainly since I've left school. <laughs> uh, so they have a lot to be proud of and to say that you know, I have a small part of it is simply amazing and I wish nothing but the best of luck for these girls and I can't wait to see what they do this summer. Thanks. Winning a state championship was one of the most amazing feelings, especially being a part of a small town like Clarksville. The win was so much more than celebrated amongst our team. It was something that we we're able to experience and celebrate amongst a lot of amazing community members and family members and fans who had been so supportive and invested in our careers from the very beginning. It was also really special with the circumstances of COVID to even have that season because for my classmates and I, we could have just had our careers ended with a canceled season, always wondering what could have happened, but we were able to play that final season and end at the mountaintop of winning that state championship, which was so special because the girls on that team were girls that I had been working hard with and playing with from the very beginning of my sports career. I think to get to state, it takes a lot of dedication from yourself. You have to go to off-season work, go to in-season work, lift, eat and sleep right and do all that type of stuff. But it also takes a lot of support. You need good coaches, a community, and parents and family that are willing to work with you when you're younger and also support you when you get into high school. Uh, winning state softball was just a feeling of happiness and uh, being proud of what you accomplished, knowing that nobody can take it away from you. I don't 
Don't know if I'm ever coming home 